Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different that I haven't done on my channel before. And I've seen other YouTubers do something similar um, where they've basically gone through a bucket of products that they've used for the past several weeks and kind of discuss what they've liked and what they didn't like and why they didn't like it. So I did something similar and I've, I have included a range of products from makeup to skincare to hair care type-ish kind of thing. So there is a little bit of a mix of products that I've tried. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna let you know why I like them or why I didn't like them. And these are usually products that I've actually tried just um, within the last two months that I've accumulated. Some that I've tried and used up all of it just to kind of give it a good feel if I really like it or really don't like it. And some I just didn't like at all and just threw it in the basket. And it's here so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that and before i get started on re letting you know which products i did like and didn't like don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment down below like this video give it a thumbs up that way i know that you do like it and i'll continue to do these videos um maybe once every month or every two months depending on um as i try the products and i accumulate enough products to go through um through them for you okay so that I have enough products to be able to share with you so uh, yeah if you want to see and find out what products I liked and didn't like then just stay tuned keep on watching and the first product that I wanted to go over for you is a skincare product and it is the Nivea Care and Coconut Moisturizing Body Wash and this actually is one of the products that I did like and I'm gonna do all the products that I did like first and then the products that I did not like um, this one is one that I'm still currently using. I've had this about maybe two weeks or so. Um, and I really, really do like, like this product. I feel a very significant difference on my skin. Um, and it's basically just a moisturizing body wash. Uh, let's see. And it's for soft, smooth skin after showering. And it has, de it's developed with, with Nivea's, ugh. It's developed with Nivea's exclusive Hydra IQ skin technology to give your skin intense, long-lasting moisturizing with moisturization with no greasy feel. Um, it smells really good. Kind of has a coconut um, smell to it. Um, I actually really do like it. The product I've been using again for about two weeks, and I still have product in here. But I thought it was really good. It was really nice. It feels really good on my skin. So if you have been wondering wondering to try this product. Um, I definitely say to give it a try. It's definitely worth it. So, yeah. The next product that I really do like also is a skincare product, and it's the Jergens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer. And this is for medium to tan skin tones. Um, it reduces the appearance of cellulite as little as, as little as seven days. And basically, this is just a fancy way of saying a. It's kind of like a self tanner. The only thing is that. Um, it's a lotion so this is awesome for um, if you're going to be wearing shorts now that we're coming out of summer and into I mean sorry, now that we're coming out of winter and into the spring and summer where if you're anything like me my legs are white they are blinding white I mean it's it's bad so if I want to wear start wearing a pair of shorts and or dresses or skirts or anything and because there's no color to my legs this is what I go to and after I take a shower I just put some of this on and I usually use it two days in advance so if I know that on Saturday I'm planning on wearing shorts then on Thursday I'll put some of this on Friday I'll put some of this on and that way it'll build a little bit of the color and it just gives you a nice glow a nice tint um, and it's it's kind of like a self tanner the only thing is it, it doesn't last as long but it's a really good alternative if you don't like the self tanning or if you just don't have time to self tan this is a great alternative and it does leave your skin very soft so it's again it's the Jergens natural glow if you've been wanting to try it out definitely give it a try what I'm gonna mention is it. my measurable difference coconut facial mist as you guys can see boohoo I am almost out I only have a little bit left and I've said this in other videos that I've used it that this I do not use as a primer this does not prolong the makeup on my face this does not make it last longer um, it does not make it sticky so that the foundation sticks to it. It, do it does not fill in pores. It doesn't do any of that. It is just simply for me 
um, of moisturizer. It just gives it a nice moisture refresh feel to my skin. I love it after I wash my face and before I do my makeup. I just spritz some of this on and it just gives it just a little extra boost of hydration to your skin. So this is something that I have been loving. As you guys can see, it's almost gone. Um, I need, do need to purchase another one of these. I got to find where they sell this because I actually purchased this in... I think it was in TJ Maxx or in Burlington. So, um, so I don't know if they actually sell this at the Measurable Different website. But I do need to check that out because I definitely would repurchase this again. So yeah. The next product that I have been loving is also a skincare product. And it is the Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. And this was actually sent to me as a um, sample that I ordered online. Um, if you actually go to some of the websites, um, some product website like L'Oreal Paris, uh, you can actually order some samples for free. And this was actually sent to me, so I didn't purchase this, but I definitely do love it. And I love it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys in case you haven't tried it out. Water activated moisture works deep into skin surface. It helps repair moisture barrier with ceramide complex and immediately absorbs and it's completely greaseless. So basically you just use this after you get out of the shower, before you dry your skin with your towel, you just place this all over your legs, your arms or any part of your body that you wish to moisturize. And you don't need to towel dry it, you don't need to rinse it off, you just let it you let your skin dry as normal. And this just really gives you a great hydration to your skin makes it feel nice and soft and shiny without being um, without being greasy or oily it's just a really good product I definitely want to purchase another one of these um, so as soon as this one's done I'm gonna get me another one so definitely give it a try if you have been wanting to try the Corel hydrotherapy wet skin moisturizer the product that I want to um, let you know is the infallible paints liquid liner and I just used this in a recent video that I did with my blue liner um, makeup and I love this liner I love this liner I think it's wonderful I think the tip on it is so nice I think that it's just it's colorful it's really opaque um, it goes on really nice easy and smooth and um, yeah, I just absolutely love it, love this. And it's from L'Oreal. Uh, it was, I think, I want to say about $8.99, but don't quote me on that. I'll find out and I'll leave it on the description box below. Um, but they do have other shades. They come in white, blue, um, just different colors. Um, but I definitely think this is worth the money. I think it's definitely worth worth buying. So check that out. The next product that I wanted to mention that I really, really liked is the, I purchased this in Sephora, and it's the Lit Kit by Lit Cosmetics, I believe, by Lit Cosmetics, I guess, or Lit, and I still have it in its box just because I'm afraid to keep it out of the box and then it gets all mixed in with my other products and the glitter gets everywhere, the glue, but basically it just comes with the... There you go. It comes with the glitter, and then it comes with the lit glitter glue, like this, and it comes with a little brush. And I use this um, to do, I haven't done any looks with this to film, but I have used it um, recently, and, um, and I use this all over my lid, and it's just beautiful. If you look at the glitter, I wish you guys can see. Let me see. Don't look at my ratchet nails, but if you can see the glitter just a really beautiful or uh, beautiful um, silvery glitter and I tinsel town in size number two um, so it's really finely milled glitter it's really safe for the eyes it's they specialize in this type of products um, the glue works fantastic and I love the packaging on the little glue it's just the cutest little thing so yeah if you've been wanting to try this out definitely give it a try I think it cost me about 20 two dollars at Sephora um, 22 dollars at Sephora which I think is not bad for the glitter and the glue and the brush um, it's just a really cute um, packaging and a really good product to use I definitely like this I wish I can use it more but you know I don't think glitter and going to work 
it's gonna work for me so but I actually do really really love this product so now I'm gonna go into the products that I do not like the products that I've been that I'm gonna mention I've tried more than one occasion I am not the type to choose to try something out one time and say nope I'm not gonna use it I don't like it I will give them a shot I will try it maybe two three times um, you know and in time and try to mix it up so if it's a foundation I don't like I just I'll change it up with maybe a different primer and see if it's just a primer that doesn't work well with that product or um, maybe if I'm using it with a beauty sponge instead of a brush and, and it works better with the brush and the beauty sponge I mean just those kind of things I just really like to try out a product first before I say I don't like it so the first product that I'm going to mention I actually have already used all of it it's pretty much empty so that just tells you that I actually gave it a fair shot and it's the Garnier 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 you know Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water all-in-one all-in-one um, and this is the one for all skin types even sensitive it has no oil alcohol or fragrance and it is the blue cap that supposedly removes waterproof mascara and they say that you can use this you don't really have to wash your face afterwards no no I've used it all because this cost me about ten dollars for a cleansing product and I said you know what as long as it takes off my makeup even if it takes twice as long twice as hard but I'm gonna use it I'm not gonna let it go to waste so um, I've tried the pink. They have a pink a bottle with a pink um, cap, and I think it's a different. It is a different kind of um, micellar water. Um, it's just for regular makeup, and I personally think that one works a lot better than this one. I don't like this one, and it's just because I feel that it does burn my eyes. Um, I don't know what about it. Sometimes I feel a little bit greasy, even though it says no oil. For me, it just it just smears all the makeup and I have to go in a second or a third time and then just go ahead and wash it off either way so it kind of beats the point of just using the myocellar water if I still have to wash my face so um, again I've used the whole thing because it's not terrible I can't say it's not usable you can use it I just personally prefer the pink one that I've tried before over this one this one I do not like I will not repurchase I do not recommend it that's just my opinion so yeah um, the next product I'm going to mention is the Tea Tree Beauty Untouched by Creations. And this is the Tea Tree Beach Spray for tousled natural waves. And this is for body fullness and light hold while helping nourish and protect the hair. This. It is complete. I've had it for over a month. I've used it like four times. And ugh, I just don't like it. It does nothing. It does nothing. It doesn't hold any, it doesn't make your hair tousled. It doesn't hold any curls. It doesn't make it look like you have beachy waved hair. It just, the smell is not even great. I mean, granted it's tea tree, so I don't expel, expect it to smell like flowers or like fruits or whatever. It's just, it's just not a good product. It's just like scented water it doesn't do anything for my hair it doesn't hold my hair it doesn't I mean it just doesn't do anything I don't think it's worth it I purchased this at a one of those products I purchased at um, TJ Maxx and I think I purchased it for like six dollars so it wasn't a big um, spent expense on this product but as you can see I it's still full and it's going in the garbage I don't plan on using it I just don't like it do not recommend at all next product that I'm going to mention and I know a lot of people are probably going to be so upset and be like oh my god how does she not like this product because it's all the rave um, but yeah it just doesn't work for me and it is the wet n wild photo focus foundation in buff bisque which is a light medium neutral shade the shade actually suits me very well it it's really much my shade um, however uh, this, I just, it's a shame. I wish I did like it. I really wanted to like it. I've tried it like three or four times, um, on my face. I've used it with a beauty sponge, with a brush. 
it just settles in my pores and it settles in my lines. I have a line that goes clear across my neck from a burn that I had when I was a little girl. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look really closely, I have that, that line there. And that just settles there into that line, into my pores on this area. I can see it sometimes in settling around here. It does shift and move on these areas right here, so it doesn't really stay in place. I just don't like it. I I know a lot of people have said very good reviews about it, but I personally, it just doesn't work for me. It might work for you, um, but I definitely don't like this product. I would not spend, I know it's a cheap foundation, it's like five bucks, but for me, it's not even worth the five dollars. I mean, I just... And I've tried it with other primers. I've tried it with my Smashbox um, primer. I've tried it with my my Lumi primer. I've tried it with no primer. Um, it just it just doesn't work. So for me, that's a no. The next product, just to stay along the lines of face products, is the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer Multi Action in the shade Light. Looks like this, and it has a little. Oh, and it's everywhere. It has this little ball thing on there, and it's just it's just messy. Um, I've had this for about I want to say for about three or four weeks now. I've used it four or five times just to give it a fair shot. Um, it's it goes on really. It feels really nice on the skin when you place it, just because of the applicator. It has that um, metal ball that you actually put on it's really cold and it feels really cool and it feels like it depuffs the area but it does not conceal anything I mean you just put it on and then you buff it out and it's just like it disappears it's like it there's no coverage on this so I mean besides the fact to use it just to kind of make that area I guess the puffiness go away a little bit because it is cool that's it no coverage no nothing I mean it does nothing for me um, yeah, miss. The next product that I wanted to mention that's also a miss for me is the Rimmel London BB Cream in the shade, um, medium. And it's this one. Now, I like Rimmel's BB Creams. I don't know if it's just that this one that I purchased, which is the 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting. I think the consistency is nice because it is thick and it is, um, creamy it does have more tint and more coverage than your normal BB cream however this particular shade looks so orange on my face like I put it on and it's like the orange line that you get um, and it does end up sometimes looking even at, even patchy I don't know how to explain it it's just it's just for me it's just a very not a very good product I like I prefer their other BB cream they have one that's kind of like a matte BB cream and I think that one's very nice but this one just it just didn't work for my skin so that's a no and then the next product that didn't work for me and I actually purchased this just recently in one of my hauls I did a makeup haul drugstore makeup haul where I purchased the Revlon photo ready eye art and it looks like this and the only thing I didn't like about this was the glitter portion. I thought that the glitter was beautiful. However, I don't know if you guys can see. When you put it on and you want to go over it a second time just to make it a little bit more opaque, a little bit more glittery, it takes off the layer that you're already putting on. So instead of building it up, um... It just kind of takes it off, so I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm using it wrong. I do want to give it more of a shot for now. Um, so far, what I've used, uh, um, as far as the glitter, for me, it was just a little bit of a, a hit. I mean, a little bit of a miss, just because I don't think that um, when you go in with the glitter and you want to go in on the second try, even though it's dried a little bit, it'll just lift up the first layer of glitter that you put on there. So. Um, yeah, the shadow part actually of it, which is this right here, is actually very pretty. So it's like half the product is good, half the product's not good. But is it worth the money? Probably not. I would probably say go with your Stila. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're definitely a better quality, and you'll definitely get your money's worth using the Stila one. So, yeah. 
The next product I want to mention is the Liquid Ulta Lipstick. And it's this. And this, I actually purchased several of these. These, um, I actually purchased like um, the red one. I know there was there was an orange. I know that there was an orangey, pinky shade. There was a bright fuchsia shade, and then a primer, which is a clear one. And oh my god, this is messy. It bleeds. It transfers. It gets. It comes on very patchy. It's a mess to get on your teeth. I mean, it gets everywhere. So none of the shades that I have, I've tried them all, and none of them work for me. This this product for me was definitely a miss. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I rather their other liquid lipsticks in the little tube. Um, they dry, they don't transfer, and they're just really nice. This one definitely is not the liquid lipstick that I would recommend to anyone, especially because you have to use a brush for this. It doesn't have any um, applicator. It's just kind of looks like this and then let me just show you the color is really pretty but it's just yeah it just it's messy it goes everywhere so no I don't recommend that and I have two more products that I want to mention I have two more products in my bathroom that I want to mention and the first product I want to mention is the Revolution Salvation Intense Lacquer it looks like this now this was funny because this is the only one that I have left. I actually purchased like four of these and I think I threw the other ones away. And this one just happened to be in a different box um, than my other ones, which is why I still have it. Which I guess is on the good side because then I can talk about it. This is by Makeup Revolution. And when I originally purchased these, it was weird because the box had the same name as the color of the tube. However, it would say um, liquid lipstick or matte liquid lipstick and when you took it out of the box it had the same color shade but then it was actually a gloss and then those that were glosses were that said gloss on the box they were actually matte lipsticks it was just weird bad packaging I think um, the concept of it I mean it's okay but it's just it's not a very good product and this is the shade in nothing like anything and this was a girl in Ulta that actually recommended it to me but I definitely I definitely don't like it um, I'm just going to swatch what it looks like right here. So it's kind of like a gloss. And it's just sticky. It's one of those formulas that is sticky. It transfers everywhere. I just, it's not opaque enough. It's really patchy. I just don't think that it's worth the money. And then really quickly, because my battery is about to die, and I want to make sure I get in this last product, is the Jordana Quick Brow Micro Pencil. The concept of this micro pencil I thought was very clever. I love the fact that it was really such a thin, tiny tip and it has the spoolie at the end. The color was really nice. This one's a light brown. However, the product, I mean, I used it three times and it's gone, done. There's nothing else in there. Three, three uses and that's it. And I don't use a lot. I have a lot of brows, so I just use it very lightly. But um, it didn't last. It didn't last. It's too waxy. I'm not sure what's going on with it. But Jordana, this was definitely a, hit, a miss for me. So, um, yeah, won't purchase it again. And, you guys, that is all. I have maybe like three minutes left on my camera before it dies on me. So, I am thinking about doing a makeup look for you guys tomorrow and filming that as well. So, yeah, let me know if you like what you liked out of the products. Out of any of the products that I mentioned, do you like any of them? Maybe you disagree with me on some of them. I'd definitely like to know. Um, but, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.